Hello and uh, welcome to my channel. Today we can uh, have a look at a normal trip switch. The workings inside of a normal trip switch you have in your um, house, in your distribution box. This is a 20 amp CBI. You get different uh, types of um, brands. Uh, what you will notice when you when the switch tripped, when you push it, it has like a little spring-loaded effect. Then you have to overcome until it's on. It's very interesting what's happening inside here, how these units are designed to work. Uh, this one clips on a rail. You can see this little clip. You hook it in from the top and it clips in here. You get uh, one for G rail uh, or mega rail. And here you have is a uh, where you put your wires in, then you fasten it here, you clamp your incoming in here. Okay, let's open this and can I show you how it looks inside. Okay, first I'm going to show you how this uh, current effect works. When there's uh, the desired current, maximum current through this coil, because it's there but comes in the incoming, goes through the coil, through the contact back, and then it works like a relay. When there's enough magnet, um, magnetism in here, it will then pull in this little uh, plate here, and then it will release. Look, it's up. Look, when you go like this, and then it will release this magnet. If you okay, switch it on, and when I press that button, look what's going to happen. And then it goes back. You, you arm it, there's a maximum current through it, it pulls in, cook, and then it releases and it opens here. This is how this device, the first of these two devices inside this strip switch is working. When, <coughs> when the moment this one opens, there's a spark here, and then the spark destroys normally the contacts here. Now what's happening here, here's the aluminium like plates come in here, they call it the flame shoot as I said, and then that flame, it ionizes the air and then it moves inside this area, this compartment here, to distinguish that fire, that flame. So um, I just took this out, I'll show you now the different one, how this looks, and then as I said, and then the ionized air is like a flame, and then uh, it divides the the current or that's uh, voltage between the plates and then and then it, the plate is like a heat sink it cools down that flame and then it distinguishes it without damaging your equipment um, I'm gonna open a different one but you can see how this flame effect work right over here I opened another one you see here is a Merlin and Girl, and it's a different type. Okay, as you see, same same thing. You you load it if you switch it on. I think it's just because I removed this thing is gonna it's not gonna keep there. Then the things what's happening here is the same problem. That when it enough current through here, it's like a relay effect. It pulls in the magnetism, and then it. It uh, releases this mechanism, but here's the flame shoot. Here's that interesting thing I'm talking about. Look what's happening here. See that mark here? This is what's happening when you when it's made and when it opens. It causes. Look at the black marks here. It causes a spark. Now this area, you can see it's connected to one area, and the other side to the other. Uh, other leg. Now here's a lot of aluminium plates. Let's take it out. I'll show you. You see here. There's just an isolator. You see what's happening here. Now this thing, the flame, it kills the flame, uh, that ionized air, because this is like uh, it's a few plates here, metal plates, and then that flame. It and then they say it. Uh, this is what. The book said it, it divides actually that total 
voltage between this little segment and then it there's a lower voltage um, potential between everyone and then it kills the flame and it cools it down because it's metal and it sits in this area yeah comes in there so this is something you most of the people didn't realize actually how this inside works this is very interesting how this uh, protects your and it, if it works properly it won't have an, a big effect on your I think this one already made too many times and then it causes this contact to damage you can see how it looks it is very put the light here you can see uh, the thing is uh, all black all damaged that, that connection points um, so this is very so the inside of the units changes and differ a little bit but uh, as I said this one is a, it's a 20 amps also but I've seen the coil is a little bit different than that one but it's more or less the same uh, effect magnetism then it releases it and it opens okay this is just some interesting facts about trip switches uh, that I want to show you about this how it it locks and it trips when it's enough current through here or when there's a flame or that spark how this shoot flame shoot kills the get rid of that flame and that and distinguish the flame that actually um, damage your, your contact points now that I open this unit and uh, compare it to this one, I don't think here in this design is uh, aluminium plates or metal plates flame shoot. There's only this little uh, uh, in the in the mold of the of the casing is this slots and that slots maybe have the same effect, but I don't think it will have the same effect because there's no metal where the dissipation of the flame could happen so this is my maybe some sort of way to design to make it work but i think this is a better design than this one don't you think okay and hope you enjoy this video um till my next video thanks for watching and cheers